Now the head needs to be finished off with cloth to conceal the open back of the head. It also needs a neck piece at the bottom of the head. Most puppet heads have hair on the back of their heads naturally, but since this guy is a demon, I've made him a back piece that matches the rest of the costume I've made. If you don't have a stapler, you can hot glue this back piece on, or you can make holes in the cardboard and tie or wire it on. Now that the head is finished, we can put the whole puppet together. Put the head on the main pole and draw a line about six or seven inches below the chin. You need to attach the costume a bit below the chin of the puppet and so that it has a neck. This is the costume I made for my Goonie Demon Puppet. It's made out of blue and green lining cloth, and it has channels sewed into it for the wire hoops that give it structure. Now I attach the costume to the main pole in the place where I drew the line for it. I've made a hole in the side of the costume to put the bottom of the arm sticks inside and then I attach the sleeves to the hands. Again, if you don't have a stapler, you can glue or wire or tie them on. I fit the head onto the main pole, fitting the stick into the box that I made for it. It's a good idea to safety pin the chin piece to the rest of the costume so that the chin doesn't fall forward. Try the puppet on. If you haven't sewn a scrim into the costume, Get a friend to cut eye holes for you. Wander around in the puppet for a bit and get to know the balance and the way it moves. Giant puppets can be made more simple.